everyone. This is your boy, Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab. Oh, Isaac, laureate of the Da Vinci Institute, a PhD granting university in South Africa. Velocity is equal to the stats over time. So velocity is equal to 12 kilometer over 0.20 hour. So velocity is equal to This is your boy, Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab. Do you know who invented calculus? Let me tell you that story. One day in 1665, Sir Isaac Newton was sitting under an apple tree. All of a sudden, an apple fell on his head, and, and then he looked up the sky, and then he saw a moon. He said if the apple falls, does the moon also fall? To solve that fall, falling moon problem, he invented calculus. One day, Isaac went out to one and a half hour bike trip. Equal 40 over 3 T squared. And 20 mile of his trip, he saw a 25 RPA speed limit sign. What I want to find is whether Isaac broke the law or Isaac did not break the law. So let's do it. First I got to draw a diagram. So di equals zero and ti equals zero. That means di initial equals zero and ti initial equals zero. D finally equal cosine mark and T final is equal to 3 over 2. So we have to find D final. So P of T is equal to 40 over 3 T squared. So we replace all the t's were 3 over 2. So p of 3 over 2 is equal to 40 over 3, 3 over 2 squared. So p, p of 3 over 2 is equal to 40 over 3, 9 over 4. So 4 goes to 40 10 times. And so 10 times 3 equals 30. So DF equals 30. So we don't need that anymore. is equal to cosine mark and, and t1 is equal to 1. 
D2 is equal to 20 and T2 is equal to cosine 1. This is a pattern. D is missing and T is missing. So first we are going to try D1. So P of T is equal to 40 over 3 T squared. This time we replace T with 1. So P of 1 is equal to 40 over 3 1 squared. So P of 1 is just 40 over 3 times 1 because 1 times 1 equals 1. That's why it's a decimal. So P of 1 is equal to 13.33. So P of T is equal to 40 over 3 T squared. We replace P of T with 20 for, for, for equal 40 over 3 T squared. So we multiply 3 by each side. I know that 3 times 20 equals 60. So 60 equals 3, 3 cancel, 40 t squared. So we divide both sides by 40. 40, 40 cancel. 0, 0 cancel. So So 3 divided by 2, 2, 1. So P2 is equal to 1.221. That's our organ. This is where our parabola goes. And this is 10, 20, and 30. Well, 40 over 3 t squared. Do you know what is the name of the line? The name of the line is velocity. So we are going to find velocity right here. Velocity is equal to d final minus d initial over t final minus t initial. d minus 0 over 3 over 2 zero is equal to 30 times 2 over 3 because we flip it. 3 goes to 30 10 times. So 10 times 2 equals 20. So lot equal to one. They want to do the small interval. Grab the small interval on the coordinate. 1.22 comes to 20. And, and 1 comes to 13.3. T1 over T2 minus T1. 
which is equal to two twenty minus thirteen point three three seven over d t to equal one point two to one or we round it up to one point two two minus one is equal to six point seven four over point twenty two equal to thirty two one p eight. I'm going to come back to the graph and write it down. Now it's the most difficult part. Because now I'm going to do calculus. Already guys got tired. But what do you expect? This is PhD calculus problem. So F prime of X is equal to limit as H goes to zero. F of x plus h minus f of x over h. I have the same thing on my sheet, so I put it here so you fall in love with it. Try to do to rotate. So p, so p prime of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. P of delta t, t plus delta t minus P of t over delta t. So P prime of t is equal to, we distribute 40 over 3t squared. Limit as delta t goes to 0, 40 over 3t. My square whole square my minus minus forty over three t square for delta t. So p prime of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. B square whole square is equal to <coughs> A square plus two A B plus B square. Let's go back. So forty over over three T T square plus two T delta T. Plus t squared. Minus 440 over 3 t squared. T is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. 40 over 3 t squared. Three t 
over delta D. So we factor out delta T. P prime of T is equal to limit as delta T goes to zero. Delta T Delta T A over three T plus forty over three delta T over delta T. Delta T delta T cancel. P prime of T equal to limit as delta T goes to zero. A over 3t plus 40 over 3 delta t. 40 over 3 delta t goes to 0. So p prime of 1.22 is equal to 80 over 3 times 1.22. What is equal to 32? Ask you a question, guys. Did, what, did Isaac break the law or he didn't break the law? The law, he broke the law. Because he was moving 32 MPH at 25 MPH speed sign. So Isaac actually broke the law because 32 MPH is over 25 MPH. What was the speed limit? That means Isaac was moving faster than the speed limit. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, Barry Size Rabbi. Next time I'll do equal MC square. That is above the. PhD love. Stay tuned.